chamomile, one of the most popular natural remedies. Now, some natural remedies simply don't work. Some do. So we're going to look at the research. And does chamomile help anxiety, depression, and even migraines? Hey everybody, Chad Cruiser here with Health and Homestead. And if you end up liking this video, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, the bell notifications, and share it with somebody. When you hit these buttons, it actually helps other people to see the videos. One of the great things with something like chamomile is that you can grow it. You buy some seeds and then if you save seeds, you can have this plant for the rest of your life and reap all the medicinal benefits. Chamomile is an old world plant, meaning it's not indigenous to North America. It's a member of the daisy family and it's just simply a pretty little flower. Well, since it's claimed to benefit anxiety, let's start off talking about other things that are used for anxiety. Since we're talking about anxiety, one of the main things that are given out to people, the pharmaceutical agents that are used to help people with anxiety are something called SSRIs or selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors and for certain people they help, but the trouble is for other people they don't. And the other difficulty that may come with these drug medications is the side effects and some people cannot handle the side effects. So are there other things, maybe more natural things like uh, chamomile? Here is research on chamomile saying that it may have antidepressant activity in anxious, depressed humans in exploratory study. Well, what they simply found is that it actually was beneficial in lowering people's levels of depression. And it also seems to help anxiety. Here's research in the Journal of Psychiatry Research, and it says an exploratory study of salivary cortisol changes during chamomile extract therapy of moderate to severe generalized anxiety disorder. Now, cortisol, what is that? It's a stress hormone that is found in the body. And what the researchers suggest is that what they found is the people who were consuming chamomile, that it actually changed the levels of this stress hormone in the individuals, which may simply be the reason that it was causing this lowering of anxiety. Here's research on chamomile, depression, and anxiety. A randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled study was conducted on chamomile's effectiveness on depression. 57 people had either placebo or chamomile extra. 19 people had both anxiety and historically experienced comorbid depression. 22 of the people had anxiety but never experienced depression. There was significantly more reduction in the depression scores in the chamomile group than the placebo group. So here we see research showing us that there seems to be benefit to people taking chamomile for depression and anxiety. So this is fantastic. It's a very simple thing, an herb that someone could grow. Sure, you could buy uh, the tea potentially, and or in the case of one of the studies, they actually used a certain percentage, 500 milligrams, three times a day of chamomile extract. And by the way, if you're interested down below, I have affiliate links if you're interested in acquiring some of these. But let's move on to chamomile and migraines. This particular study was actually a gel that was used. A study was reported in the journal Neurological Sciences on a topical gel with chamomile versus placebo on migraines without auras. I know what it's like to have migraines. I used to have them regularly and I would have auras. Auras are different for different people. For me, it would be, I would begin to get the shining light and it would then be a blind spot. I could see the peripheral areas, but I couldn't see directly in front of me. I would have the shining thing. It was, it was terrible. And then I knew I would get the migraine afterward. Now I've learned to change my diet in such a way that I just simply don't get migraines anymore and change my lifestyle so that I don't have them. So I don't have to try to find remedies to get rid of them. Just the lifestyle change work. But are there things for someone who is struggling with them, who maybe hasn't yet changed their lifestyle or found what is actually causing them? Are there things that could help like a chamomile? It was a double blind, randomized, placebo controlled crossover study. Now to give you an idea what a crossover study is, one of the great things about a crossover study is at one point during the study, you're given a placebo 
And at another point in the study, you're actually given the scientific test, or in this case, you're given the chamomile. And so one group will be taking the placebo first, and then they'll switch over to the chamomile. The other group will have the chamomile first and switch over to the placebo. And so you're doing this, and the researchers don't know who's getting what at what time, so they, they hopefully cannot be biased as a result. And during the time of the study that the individuals received the topical application of chamomile gel, there was a statistical benefit in decreasing the side effects of the migraine. So there seems to be something within this chamomile in gel form actually put on topically that can lower the amount of pain and suffering that would come along with a migraine. This is fantastic. At least to me it is, right? Something with probably very little, if any, side effects. Another thing about chamomile that's fantastic is it may also help you with sleep. It may be something that you struggle going to sleep at night. One of the things if you struggle with going to sleep at night, I did for years and then I gave up caffeine and then I realized, oh, it was just, I thought, I just thought too much. I thought I just kind of went over and over thoughts in my head and then I stopped the caffeine and, and my mind just kind of calmed down. So if you struggle with sleeping, that might be part of the problem. May not be, but it possibly could be. But chamomile is a tea that is naturally caffeine free, tastes good, tastes fantastic, and it can also potentially help you sleep at night. You'll even see teas out there called something like Sleepy Time. And now I have affiliate links down below with tea, with the extract, with seeds, or also our video series on nearly five hours of scientific research on studies that compare head-to-head -head drug medication with natural remedies. In many cases, the natural remedies end up turning out to be better than the drug medication with significantly less side effects. So check that out down in the description below or even down in the comment section. If you like this video, share it with a friend, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. God bless and have a fantastic day.